exact situation with the mysterious boy wearing the John A. hoodie and hat that I met on March 26, 2016. I was insanely nervous to hang out with someone new in the group. I remember stressing about it all that day, and I even made plans to specifically sit in the front seat so I wouldn't have to be in the back with you. <laughs> but looking back on it now, I can't help but to wonder if I was so nervous because my mind knew before me that I was going to meet my soulmate. The moment I laid eyes on you, I could feel how I attracted I was to your energy and how you was almost pulling me like a magnet towards you. I am forever grateful for that day, and who knew a round of beer pong would have led us here? <laughs> Just in the seven years we've known each other, I feel like we have a lifetime of memories. Some of my favorites are our first day trip to St. Louis, building a garden together during COVID, <laughs> Watching you play baseball on a professional field, babysitting rain together, the spooky night corn maze in a random part of Missouri, <laughs> <laughs> our first vacation in Tampa, our first trip to Chicago together, our three-year anniversary at the ice skating rink and cheesecake factory, the day you proposed, of course, my first concert ever seen Lotto, and our Cincinnati trip, specifically our second day. <laughs> <laughs> I love looking back and reminiscing on all of our experiences we've shared together, and I look forward to making more with you in the future. But now on to some of my favorite things about you. I love your smile and the dimple in your cheek when you laugh. I love that you're my personal heater. I love how caring you are and how you always make sure I'm taken care of. I love how you don't let anger get the best of you. I love that you prefer to drive. <laughs> I love how you make me feel like the, I'm the only girl in the world. And I love your curly hair. I love your laugh and goofy personality. And I love how you make me feel safe. I love that you're basically a perfect person and that I wouldn't change anything about you. <laughs> If you would have asked me as a kid if I thought I would ever get to experience a love like ours, the answer would probably be no. You are no doubt the reason why I'm still here today. And for that, I owe you a lifetime of love. <laughs> and I know your life hasn't always been easy too. And for that, I promise that our journey together is going to make up for it. I vow to give you everything that you deserve. I vow not to give up if things get hard. I vow to always listen to you when you need to talk. I vow to love you unconditionally and I vow to be faithful. I vow to be there in sickness or in health. I vow to be your best friend forever. I vow to be a good mother to your kids. I vow to be the very best partner I could be. It is always you and I forever. I love you, Aaron Joseph Peterman. And then I put in a song lyric from Mac Miller that I thought represented us very well. And so in quotes, I felt the highs and they felt like you. See a love like mine is too good to be true. <laughs> I felt the highs and they feel like you. See a love like mine is too good to be true. And you too do fine to just be mine. You remind me of the color <laughs> Girl, I'm so <sighs> with you. Hey love, we finally made it. Seven years of knowing each other, five years together this year. That's a total of 2,796 days of knowing each other <laughs> to this day. To this day, I still wake up each day asking myself how. How did I get so lucky? I never would have thought that someone as beautiful, caring, loving, and awesome as you are would ever want me to be their husband. For me, it was easy. I knew that the moment when we first met and that I locked eyes on you, I knew that I wanted to be around you forever. 
and I immediately felt right my life changed at that moment. It was like a brand new door opening up on life and you was the key. <laughs> I'll never forget when you asked someone to play beer pong with me that night. I could not have been more excited to get to interact with you for the first time. We were both going through some hard times as we met, and I know it, it was destined for us to meet each other because I know that we were meant to save each other. Mm. I was homeless and had nothing, and you still stuck by my side, loving me and caring for me. I cannot thank you more for entering my life and being such an amazing and wonderful person who I will now get to call my wife. I've seen the love and support that you've given, and I want you to know that it's the same the other way around. I am ready to fight with you on all of our future battles together as a married couple. I will always be here to protect you, no matter what, even if it's a lightning strike or a German shepherd. <laughs> Haley, baby, we have been through every ups and downs a relationship can have, but nothing will ever be as strong enough to break the love that we have for each other. So I promise to always be your beer pong partner and cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you and build a family. I love you so much, and I'm super excited to finally become Mr. and Mrs. Peter. Love you. <laughs> I love you. Love you too. You good enough? That's good. <laughs> <sighs>